And those extra kits can't come soon enough for communities struggling to meet the demand for them. News 12 Connecticut's Sean McCabe was in Reading as residents lined up for their swabs. Today we're here this morning giving out the, uh, the test kits that the state of Connecticut has provided to us. As demand for testing reaches a peak, Reading Health officials giving away 600 home kits to residents this morning. We've got great volunteers. We had six volunteers, so three on each side. We had someone checking ID because you had to show proof of residency. Those kits were scheduled to be distributed Friday before supply chain issues delayed the shipment. It was confusing, but I have to say we did a good job messaging and people were incredibly understanding. The giveaway was scheduled for noon until 2 p.m. or while well supplies lasted in Reading. As it turned out, all 600 kits were given away by 1130 this morning. The health department and the PD made the decision to start because we had cars lined up so far back it was becoming a traffic issue. 300 families and less than half an hour later, first selectman Julie Pemberton had to start turning cars back. Everybody got to take two and we're, we're finished, but at least we've got 600 kits out in the public, 1,200 tests, and hopefully that will help keep us healthy. Officials say more health supplies for residents are coming soon. I'm hoping in the next week we'll have masks to give away because now the guidance isn't a KN95 or, or an N95. As lines at testing sites stretch around the block, no word yet on when more home kits are coming from the state. What we got, the 600, was 50% of what we had anticipated. In the first round, we were getting about a thousand. Um, so we need more kits, Governor. <laughs> Keep them coming. In Reading, Sean McCabe, News 12, Connecticut.